Welcome to the Toyota 400 at Richmond Raceway, part of the two-week journey at Virginia and the two short tracks, Richmond Raceway and Martinsville Speedway. Before we get to our starting grid, let's take a look at our playoff standings after Coda. So far, Bobby Swift is in first place in the playoff standings, and we have four more spots left in the playoffs before this race, so if we get more than eight winners that are full-time drivers, we we'll see a potential fight for the playoffs. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Cal Witters and Lightning McQueen are the ones trying to fight back against their struggles to win a race. In row two, rookies H.J. Hollis and Master Dragon 4000. In row three, Brian Spark and Colin Bargain trying to go to victory lane this year. In row four, Cruz Ramirez and Bobby Swift who lost that two win streak. In uh, row five, Jackson Storm and Phil Tankson. In row six, Bo Wheelhouse and JD McPillar. In row seven, Brandon Powercar in the Stealth Spire car and last week's winner at Coda, Ryan Laney. And in row eight, Chase Racelot and Daniel Suarez. Here's the race format 20 laps, 15 miles around the 0.75 mile track, and pit road speed is 40 miles per hour. The pace car has already made the hard left turn to the pits, and here we go, ready to kick off Easter weekend. The green flag is in the air at Richmond Raceway. Lightning McQueen is in first place already. Colin Bargain making it three wide and behind Lightning McQueen. Teammates Master Dragon 4000 and Colin Bargain are trying to get another win. Well, Colin's trying to get his first career win. Meanwhile, Master Dragon 4000 is trying to get his second career win. Light McQueen leads lap one and Colin Bargain takes the lead. They're too wide behind Light McQueen. Jeez, Colin Bargain is having some muscle right now. I'm not sure if that would last long for him because he's just a rookie. And he leads lap two. Now here they go through the back stretch. There was three. There was a three-white battle behind Master Dragon 4000. Now there are two white Cal Weathers and Ryan Laney. Side by side for second place, Ryan Spark and Lightning McQueen. Both of them were former winners last year. Lightning McQueen won at Darlington, and Ryan Spark won at Indianapolis. Colin Bargain still in the lead. I feel like he's just you know, using some uh, great strategy from the clash before he, um, he lost the lead to Cruz Ramirez and then Cruz Ramirez won the clash. Colin Bargain leads four laps out of the six as I'm speaking. Four out of the six laps. Master Dragon 4000 versus Bobby Swift for fifth place. Bobby Swift is in fifth. Master Dragon 4000 is in sixth. They swap positions. The scoring board right now is just determining the data from the last lap. H.J. Hollis trying to defend. Uh, 7th place against Cal Weathers. Here he goes, 
side by side for second place. Brian Spark versus Ryan Lane versus Light McQueen and Ryan Laney. Now we enter lap eight. A side by side battle against Lightning McQueen and Brian Spark. Ryan Laney try to join the battle, including Bobby Swift. And we got trouble. H.J. Hollis loses an, an engine. And he stops through turn two. No caution? Throwing out the yellow flag. What's going on? Hmm, I guess the, the officials are not doing their job. Well, let's see what just happened on the right. H.J. Hollis. When he was entering turn two. No, turn one. Um, his engine expired a few laps earlier. Once Colin Bargain crosses the start finish line, we're ready for the halfway jam. Starting now. Colin Bargain still in the lead. We have an update with H.J. Hollis. He is off the race. They're trying to uh, check if they could do some repairs on, on him. Otherwise, he's out of the race. And we got an update that he's out of the race. Battle for 6th place. Master Dragon 4000 versus Bubble Wheelhouse. Side by side through the front straightaway. Now the Bubble Wheelhouse... Will Runs away with 6th place. Colin Bargain still in the lead. Nothing is stopping him. He might have a really uh, fast car today. Is that aerodynamics or instead he just um, uh, put, himself on the put himself to the max. Bobby Swift versus Lightning McQueen for 4th place. Now here they come through the back straightaway. Now through turn three and entering turn four. With seven laps to go. Cruz Ramirez is struggling all the way in 15th place. Hopefully she does better next weekend at Martinsville. Brandon Powercar and Jackson Storm are fighting for the 11th place. There's some there's some more fighting happening in the back instead of the front. The front they have the fast cars. Bobby Swift is can't even recover from Circuit of the Americas. Now here we go with five laps to go. Colin Bargain in the lead. A few miles away from victory he is. Oh Wheel House trying to catch up to Bobby Swift in fourth place. Like McQueen just dropped a six. What's going on with him? He was doing a great job in Circuit of the Americas last weekend. Or last week. Sorry. Side by side for second place. Brian Spark versus Ryan, Ryan Laney, you seen earlier. Now, Colin Bargain is. Exiting turn four and now entering the front straight away with three laps to go.
Last week was Colin Gargan's birthday. He he's trying to get get that win. Last week he was expecting the win at Circuit of the Americas, but instead the road courses threw him off course. Now here we go with two laps to go. Colin Bargain still in the lead. Trying to catch up to the slower cars. If he passes Cruiser Miris, Cruz will be a lap down. And Colin Bargain, his, uh, his timing on the trying to, to reach victory lane will not be affected. Let's see if he'll be able to catch up to the back. Here we go, white flag. One more time around Richmond Raceway. Colin Bargain, still in the lead. In February, he tried to win the Clash, but instead lost to Cruiser Miris. Now, coming out of turn number three and entering turn four. Colin Bargain, one of the rookies of 2024, is going to win the Toyota 400. All the other drivers have not crossed the start-finish line yet. Congratulations to Colin Bargain getting his first career win here at Richmond Raceway. Congratulations to him again. An impressive job for the number 10. But the race... I have nothing to say about it besides say... Meh. It's just another short track race. Here are the official results. Colin Barkin is the fastest car of the day. Next Wednesday is the Taco Mint 400 at Martinsville Speedway starting at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27 signing out.